Hello there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and theloopylamb.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my holiday snuggles blanket. It is made using this baby snuggles yarn in the solid colorways. This is the color cream which is number two and this is uh, the color red and it is number 26 on the hobby dot com website. Now this is a size six super bulky weight yarn and uh, for the blankets materials you're going to be needing three skeins of the cream color and you're going to be needing six skeins of this red maroon color. We're also going to be needing a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and we'll also need a size seven or L uh, crochet hook and I'm using this uh, Galaxy Streamline Swirls from our friends at Corals crochet. So this is a simple beginner's uh, crochet blanket and you can see that it is using the same stitch throughout the pattern and uh, so I'm going to be walking you through that on a smaller scale today and then I'll be uh, showing you when and how to change the colors to add our stripes. So if you're ready to get started please can hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel and let's get ready to get started. So before I get started, I did want to uh, take a moment to talk about the size of this throw blanket as well as give you the gauge information. The uh, finished size of this throw when it's crocheted to gauge is approximately 38 inches wide by 50 inches tall. And the gauge information is approximately 11 stitches by 5 rows equals 4 inches. We are going to be starting with our first color, which is the maroon, which I'll reference as color A. And we're going to do a chain of 104. So we're going to yarn over and pull through. There's one. And if you'd like to pause your video and do a chain of 104 and come back to me, I'm just going to make my little sample here and we'll get ready to start with row one. So if you've already completed your chain of 104, we are ready to start with our row one. And we are going to start with a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So again, you never count the loop that's on your hook. And we're going to count over four. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into that fourth chain from the hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through two yarn over, pull through two. And those first three skipped chains will count as the first stitch of the round. And now we're going to be placing one double crochet into each of the stitches across. So again, you're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a hook, loop, sorry, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And now I have three double crochets. So if you'd like to pause your video and double crochet into each chain across, at the end of the row you should have 102 stitches. I will finish my row and then I'll come back to you and show you how to start with row two. So I have just completed my row one and I'm going to chain up two. So yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop and that's my chain two and I'm going to turn my work. Now that chain two at the beginning of the row will count as your first stitch. So you're not going to be working into that first stitch. You're going to skip that and we're going to start on the second stitch of the row. So to start, we're going to do a front post double crochet around the second stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook from front to back and out through the front again around the post of the second stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. And that's our first front post double crochet. Now we're going to do a back post double crochet around the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook from back to front, push back that post and insert your hook through from front to back, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And so now we have a finished front post and a finished back post double crochet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to repeat this pattern across our row. We're going to do a front post double crochet around the next stitch and then we'll do a back post double crochet around the next stitch. 
we're going to repeat this pattern of front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet across our row until we get to the last stitch of our row which again is that skipped three chains from the beginning and we're going to place a double crochet into the top of that row. So if you'd like to pause your video and uh, finish your row, come back to me when you're ready to do row three. So I just finished my uh, row two and I just did my double crochet in the top of the uh, skipped three chains. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chain up two to start my row three and I'm turning my work. Now, uh, now that we've done our ribbing, we're going to be starting with the main stitch that is utilized in our blanket. And just a quick reminder that those chain twos do count as your first stitch. So to start, we're going to skip the first and the second stitch. We're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the third stitch. And we're going to do a double crochet. Now we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the second stitch, the stitch that we skipped here. And what we're doing is called a crossed double crochet. And what it does is it creates a little tiny X uh, with this bulkier yarn. It almost looks like a V shape with our yarn. And so I'll show you how to do that again. You'll skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the following stitch. And then we're going to double crochet into the skipped stitch. And this is once again called a crossed double crochet. And we're going to repeat this cross double crochet stitch across our row. So again, skipping the next stitch, working into the next double crochet, working back into that skip stitch with a double crochet. And you can see how it's creating that really nice crossed pattern across our row. So you're going to repeat this cross double crochet across our our round until you get to the last stitch of our round, which is um, the chain two here, and you're going to place a double crochet into the top of that turning chain. So if you'd like to pause your video and finish your round and come back to me when you're ready to start round four. So I just finished my row three, and again, I'm going to do that chain two turning chain and turn my work to start my next row. So for rows four through seven, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for row three. And again, that's skipping the second stitch, working that double crochet into the third. And then you're going to go move, go in front of your stitch that you just created, working into that skip stitch, you're going to double crochet. Okay, And then again, you're going to skip the next stitch, work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then working in front of the stitch you just made, go back into that skip stitch and double crochet. Okay. And once again, when you get to the end of your, your round, you're going to place a double crochet into the top of that turning chain. So if you'd like to pause your video and do rows four through seven, we're going to be changing our colors for row uh, eight into our cream color. So Pause the video, do rows four through seven, and come back to me when you're ready to do row eight. So if you're at the end of your row seven and you're getting ready to change colors for row eight, when you're doing the last stitch of your round, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the top of that turning chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Now, instead of finishing off with the same color, we're going to, finish our stitch with the last yarn over being in the new color. So I've got my cream color prepared and I'm going to finish off the stitch with the cream. Now for this, if you're using this baby snuggle yarn, I do recommend that you leave a longer tail than you normally would because it does have a tendency to unravel. Uh, so just keep that in mind, use a longer tail than normal with this yarn. Uh, I've already finished my sample. It's very solid once it's all all the tails are woven in and everything but just when it's just hanging out here while you're working on your project it will uh, have a tendency to unravel so just keep that in mind so when i'm ready to start my row eight i'm going to chain up two and i'm turning my work and we're going to do the same thing we've done for uh, rows three through seven as we're going to do that cross double crochet so again skip that second stitch working into the third double crochet 
working in front back into that skip stitch, we're going to do another double crochet. And we're going to do this again across the round, remembering to place that last double crochet of the round into the top of the turning chain. And so I now I feel by now you should have a gist of the stitch that we're using. And for the rest of the pattern, we are using the same stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through which rows we will be doing color changes for. Now that we have the basic stitch pattern down. Now, if you are interested, the ad free PDF printable version of this pattern does come with a pattern cheat sheet checklist that you can print out and will walk you through the color changes in a very brief kind of cheat sheet kind of way. That's why I call it a cheat sheet. And uh, it tells you what stitch you're doing for that row and what color you should be using. And you can check them off as you go to help you keep you on track. So uh, we just finished off with row eight, which is done in the cream. Then for rows nine and 10, you'll be doing the maroon red color. Then for rows 11 through 14, you'll be doing the cream. For rows 15 and 16, we're doing the red. For rows 17 and 18, we'll be doing the cream. For rows 19 and 20, we're doing color A. And just again, this is all done in that crossed double crochet stitch. For row 21, we're just doing one row of the cream. For 22 and 23, you're doing the red or maroon. 24, you're doing the cream. Rows 25 through 32 is done in the red. Rows 33 through 38 is done in the cream. Rows 39 through 46 is done in the red. Row 47 is in the white or cream. Rows 48 and 49 are done in red. Row 50 is in cream. Rows 51 and 52 are done in red. Rows 53 and 54 are cream. Rows 55 and 56 are red. Rows 57 through 60 are done in cream. Rows 61 to 62 are done in red. Row 63 is done in white. And rows 64 through 68 are done in red. And now this is where the pattern will change. We're no longer doing the crossed double crochet for the next two rows. For row 68, you're going to do double crochet into each stitch across. It's a pretty much the same repeat as row one, but you're not working into the chain, you're working into these uh, stitches here. And then for row 70, you're going to be doing that front post double crochet, back post double crochet alternating stitch pattern that we did in row two to create the ribbing. Then you will finish off your blanket and you are all set to go. So if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave them in the comments section below. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.